Hi and welcome to Sherbrooke Forest. I've brought you back up here again, not to photograph or film wildlife like I did a couple of videos ago, but simply to come and take photographs of beautiful pieces of art in nature. There are trees with vines wrapped around them and fungus and ferns and stuff on them. There are so many things in here. Very hard to get the right image though because there is too much chaos in the forest for starters. So looking for the right subject isn't easy. But I'm on a reconnaissance mission. Check out a few locations I haven't been to, but one of the ones I want to go to is a fern forest down the bottom of the hill here. It's on the southern side of the mountain. So there's no light down there, it is pretty dark. But I simply wanted to get away from my own uh, office because it's boring there at the minute. There is nothing going on there. So I needed a new adventure. Now I am going to be off the beaten track. So it's not for the faint hearted. If you're a little unsure about wandering off the tracks, like I do, this may not be your thing, but I'll show you what, what goes on off the tracks. Might be a bit of interest here. So I am going to use the logs like I am now, that are fallen, the trees that have fallen on the ground, like animals do, to get around the forest. There are certain places where this helps you out a lot. Walking through this undergrowth here, it's all ferns and climbing grasses which catch the tripod and become a pain in the ass. You have to slow down, not speed through the forest. You have to just take your time. Otherwise, there's a chance of you breaking your ankle or something even worse than that. Uh, so we have to be careful. I have to be extremely careful. Now, I've been doing this since I was a little tacker, going on adventures into places that uh, ain't particularly safe. <laughs> it's just in my nature, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to walk on these logs. That'll help me get around the place. Then this uh, thins out a bit as I go down and I can go through all these ferns here and uh, work my way down the gully. So enough waffling. I'm going to get going and uh, I'll walk you through the place. I love how the terrain changes as you wander around off the tracks. I'm on the southern side and it's just like a carpet of these ground dwelling ferns. Uh, and you just get big patches of them and then it goes back to thick grasses, uh, climbing grass and yeah, hard to get through bloody terrain which I'm about to hit now. Well, where I'm heading to is a beautiful fern garden where I went to about five years ago. I want to have a look back down there because there was a natural arch. Two trees had come together to make this archway. Have another look at it and see whether it's any good for a photograph. But this area is just loaded with lyrebird scratchings and where the males have their stages. But it is the wrong time of year. Definitely the wrong time of year still. It's got to get really cold, get closer to June, and that'd be the best time to come down and film lyrebirds. But it's also really dark and horrible. <laughs> Actually get good clean footage as well. Could you see yourself living in one of these trees? There's plenty of room to do that with. Friggin' awesome. We've been with the spiders and echidnas, all sorts of things come in here. Get away from the cold winter. 
put a whole heap of uh, fern frongs at the front here, block it off. Be alright if you want to be a hermit. I like my bed in my house. Well, what do you reckon? Isn't this beautiful? This is the fern garden. Not always easy to find. It is spooky, magical. It's just got this beautiful atmosphere about it. I guess a lot of people might freak out if they came in here. There's lots of things to photograph, but they're not going to be spectacular. The actual ferns are just like this. It's covered in moss and they've got uh, like a staghorn type fern growing out of them. Uh, these here, it's like that. And you just look at it and think, wow, I've got to take a photograph of that. But then you start to look at the background, everything around it, and it just ruins the image. L look at this. Th this is just beautiful. The shapes that it's grown on this tree with the moss and that fern growing out of it. They're, it looks fantastic, but again, there's just too much chaos around it. To try and make it look nice, it just won't work. It's not appealing to my eye anyway. Well, let's have a wander around here. This is where I filmed a female lyre bird that I showed you in my last video. Not my last video, the video before. About lyre birds. No, waffling. Let's go for a wander at this magical place. Well, this is a bit of a contender, really. Lots of interest on it. Got this nice little fern at the front. And there's not too much chaos around it. It's nice shape and everything. Got nice roots. I don't, it's not a spectacular piece of art. Would have to do a few bracketed shots. I'm thinking. Problem with this fern garden is because it's on the southern side and we're on a mountain. The sun is just over here, but it, it won't come in here properly. You get you can just see in the background you get little bits come through at this time of year. But it's very low. It's only coming through there, so it's not coming above and getting breaking through a lot. And as the months go on we get closer to winter. Well, the sun's just down really low, it just doesn't get in here at all, it just stays dark. So we don't get those nice highlights. Maybe on that side of the tree would, would look spectacular. So I'm thinking, nice image, but not spectacular. Keep looking. Well, I have something else of interest here that might make for a good photograph. The background's not so cluttered. It might work out for me. There's an old fern that's starting to rot away and which has an unusual shape to it. And it has another fern growing out of it, a little baby one. So if I clean up all this mess that's around, make it look a little neater, I think it might be all right. Now, again, nothing spectacular, but maybe a nice photograph anyway. We'll give it a go. And there's also, around the place, get that up to the camera, see if you can see that. It's in focus nicely, all these orange funguses. If I can find something, a branch or a fern with them on it as well, might be all right. All right, check this one out, give it a go. Another beautiful piece of artwork. This old fern here, nice little archway. Just on the end of it, coming back up. 
the fern's just staying alive. It, it's come to the end of its uh, lifespan, that's for sure. It's just thrown out a few frongs. If it had heaps on it, it would have looked a lot better. We have this tree that it's grown onto the side of. Amazing how they marry up together sometimes. You can't see that they're joined there because of the moss. And you have this, uh, some branches coming out of the tree down here. It's just adding a nice image to look at live. As a photograph, I think there's just too many distractions to get in the background. It, it's not bad. The sun is on the opposite side, so we're not getting nice warm colours coming on from the morning sun. When I was just on the other side of it just before, when I first spotted it, that's what it had on that side. But there's too many things in the way. I also have this fern here in the middle. This one just down here. It just adds a little bit to the image as well. But again, it's, the fern's daggy looking. It doesn't look very healthy. It's not going to make for a great image. It would have done if it was much uh, healthier. It's just an almost image. But then again, you know, it's just not quite there. I have something of interest to share with you. And just there you can see a bit of rubbish. Well, that actually was a lyre bird nest from last year, so it's all falling apart. Now it's collapsed down. Would have been a hell of a lot higher. Then a, a dead tree, top's broken off, opened up the hollow, so she shoved it in there. You can see the hole at the front there, which she come in and out. Uh, they're just like a possum nest, a ring tail possum nest, a dome shape with a hole in it. Well, I have found the arch, it's still intact. You see these two trees grown together. It looks friggin' awesome, it does. We get the creek, well, it becomes a creek when it rains. It's just a natural gully. There's no actual uh, real water here, you know, all year round. It's just occasionally when it rains. And that would have added a lot more to this image, but it's okay, it's not really all that cluttered. The only problem I have is with the sky breaking out in there. There's actually some thin clouds coming across which will make the sky sort of look dull and boring because it's going to be blown out a bit. So I'd have to take two images, amalgamate them together. Uh, but it would have been better if I got that blue sky. But it's gone. Right, so I'm going to set up. I'm going to get this image. I think it'll, again, it looks awesome live. It might come out all right. I might get a little bit closer with this one to a spectacular image. <laughs> but it's just so many beautiful pieces of art that nature has created in here. It's just awesome. It is very dark. The footage you're looking at right now is probably going to be a crappy exposure. Well, it is going to be. There's going to be a little bit of grain and that in there. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to set up, get this uh, image done, and probably look at going home for a brekkie. I'm starving. Well, walking around my image here, this beautiful natural arch, it does look a lot better from this angle. There is a lot more of interest with the roots, the shape of the tree, the way they've come together. And here, this beautiful fern here, with all this moss on it, hanging down there. It looked great just before the sunlight was shining on that part. But it is a bit of a boring image when you look through. It's not as interesting as you get back the other way. It's <laughs> It's always a bugger getting exactly what you want, isn't it? But I think to help out with this image, so we get all this beautiful 
textures and everything here and shapes. We need fog, I need fog, to cut down on the chaos in the background as well as creating a bit more atmosphere. It'll look friggin' awesome. I know it will. So I'll have to drag myself out of bed on a cold winter's day when the conditions are going to be right and get down here and give it a go. Now I am a long way away from any track. Hacked my way through the scrub. I, I know this area reasonably well. This is about my fourth time coming here. Uh, but I never, I've never really explored taking photographs here. It was more about trying to get lyre birds. But now I think, yeah, every time I come in here, I think, wow, just the shapes of everything and the moss, it just looks awesome. And so mystical feeling too as well. Just a fantastic place to come and sit for a while. But I am hungry, I'm starving. So my concentration is starting to weigh. It's time for me to go, uh, but I'll keep this in mind for winter. It'll look great. i uh, even taken a shot from the other way as well. There is still a lot of interest. It's not a, I like the inside of the arch, looking back down that way. You have a lot of ferns coming like this, swooping down and onto the, onto the ground. It, they look great. A bit of water running down, again, would add a bit more to it, and some fog. That's enough of me waffling on for today. Just thought I'd take you with me on a bit of an excursion looking for a photograph. Just a bit of a reconnaissance for when we get the uh, fog happening. If you'd like to subscribe and get more of this sort of crap from me, <laughs> click on the subscription button down below. And there's a little bell there, hit that, you'll get notification whenever I do anything. Now if you'd like to go and have a look at my channel, click on my icon down below. There's over 80 videos to choose from there for me talking about all things photography and filming of wildlife. Flash photography in a forest environment, all types of things like that, and camera accessories, camera reviews, things that I've bought over time, I've reviewed them. So go and have a browse. There'll be something there of interest to you, I'm sure. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. Catch you on the next one. Well, another great, whoop, that again. It's really crap, Terry. <laughs> well, videos ago. I'm actually come up here to put my belt on. Well, good morning, and welcome back to the Sherbrooke Forest. <laughs> Bloody camera.